Hello friends, uh, welcome back. This is Emmanuel Mendu. In this video, we will see a small concept. Um, it's a basic concept of uh, oops. Like uh, <coughs> you know, polymorphism. What it does? I just uh, gave a small definition that uh, it it means one name and multiple forms. Like one name with multiple uh, function names. We we just call a function name by using uh, different argument uh, like count count of argument will be different. I will show you with uh, a clear explanation on how we are uh, working on polymorphism in our C sharp. You can read this so you will get uh, understand my <coughs> example. Let let's go and uh, do a small example. Let's create a new project here. So let's say example. Let me show you a small example on uh, employer salary basis. I'll create different functions and use same name so we can cover the concept of function overloading we got two two things here function overloading and operator overloading let's first do our function overloading let me drag and drop uh, Three text boxes. I need one button. <coughs> okay, so let's think is this is as uh, mm, let's put it as some labels also. salary bonus let's tell um, health <coughs> so in our daily we used to see this we used to have a salary and we used to have bonus for our salary and company pay for health and uh, something else <coughs> thing like that so sometimes they won't pay bonus sometimes they won't pay for health sometimes they pay only salary let's go to our dot uh, cs so here what i will do is i just create a class with uh, name as employee in this class <coughs> here I create uh, two functions public void empty salary I will take three I'll create three functions or three methods with the same name but different uh, arguments I just include this and we got uh, another parameter argument as bonus we need this here int health <coughs> okay so what I'm doing is I'm just using same function name with different 
different arguments this is called function overloading okay so this this covers the concept of polymorphism so this what i will do is i just when i click when uh, the user clicks a button i just call three three things here let me instantiate employee with some something like e or emp with the uh, employee okay after that when i when i when i want to check that you see only emp fail not three functions it's showing only one function name here so let's select so it's showing we can uh, employ no overload methods x zero arguments so it takes one two or and three things so what i am doing is i just i just create here int salary bonus let's put salary bonus and health <coughs> for salary we are just giving our text box so convert dot to int 32 it's a text box one dot text okay Over two and three. Make sure that you just check uh, that string dot is null or empty in the text box so that it won't when you when the user doesn't enter anything in the text box it doesn't break here. I'm checking if it is null so if it's not null just convert and put it here so from here I'm sending salary and EMP dot EMP salary I'm just sending salary comma bonus EMP dot salary this includes salary comma bonus comma health okay that's good so uh, let's continue this in the second part okay thank you